Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing Ipsy versus Ipsy for the month of July. If you're not familiar with Ipsy, they are a beauty subscription service and they have three tiers of subscription. I get both the regular bag and the plus box. Those are the two we're gonna be talking about today. I am gonna put timestamps down in the description box below just because if you wanna only see the plus and not the regular bag, you can do that. Also, I am gonna talk about the changes that are coming to the plus box next month. Let's get into the bag. So first I am going to do the regular glam bag. And like I said, I will leave a timestamp down below for the plus unboxing. I did get quite a few add-ons this month. So we're going to talk about those at the end because I also had a lot of issues with my add-ons. Again, I'm going to get to all of that at the end of the video. So let's get into the bag. Here is the bag this month. It's like the mystery bag I unbagged, the same type of material, completely see-through. It's got a very 80s theme to me, like with the color scheme and everything. It's got this adorable a little plain zipper right there which is very cute it says escape I did have one item outside the bag and that is this firma brush here it is this is the firma 201 I'm guessing blending brush I'm not a big fan of firma brushes I just think that they're not the best quality in my opinion this is probably going to not hold up well over time the bristles don't feel particularly great and it just kind of feels cheaply made to me I'll still use it this will be good for some more detailed crease work which is what I'm gonna definitely use this for so there's that I honestly don't mind getting brushes I have brushes as often on my profile so it makes sense that they sent that to me the retail price for this brush is $12.99. Do I think this is worth $12.99? No, I think this is worth about $3, but that's just my opinion. We have our card, which literally has absolutely nothing useful inside. First up, we have from BioRace the Pore Tightening Pearl Clay Mask. BioRace is a Korean brand. However, this is a mask I will not use. I don't like to use clay masks because I have dry skin. This just dries my skin out more. This would be great for someone with oily or combo skin probably, but not for me. This does have a retail value of approximately four dollars okay sorry my camera cut off real quick but as i was saying i will give ipsy credit that they typically do send me korean brand skincare and korean brand masks because i tell them in my feedback to them that i do like that stuff but this is just not something that i'm gonna use next up we have the basd body lotion in seductive sandalwood and this is 1.1 fluid ounces this has a retail value of approximately a dollar and 81 cents i'm gonna pass this along to someone if Hipsy again looked at my profile quiz they would see that I don't like earthy scents or spicy scents for that matter. I like floral, citrusy, gourmet scents but not this and I actually really can't stand the smell of sandalwood so I'm not even going to open this because I'm never going to use it. Next up we do have the KVD liner and this is the tattoo liner and it's got the old Kat Von D packaging. I'm not going to open this because I don't use liquid liners a ton so I don't really see a point in opening this because who knows when I'm going to get to it. I am actually kind of excited to try this only because I've heard really good things about this liquid liner. But that said, I do have liquid liner as like, don't really give it to me on my profile because when I wear a black liquid liner, the only thing you're going to notice on my eyes is my black liquid liner. Sometimes I want you to notice my eyeshadow like, you know, today. So I don't wear these all the time. I mostly wear these when I'm doing a very minimalistic eye look. This has a retail value of approximately $7.64. And lastly, we have the item I chose, which is the Thrive Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Gazillion. I think that's how you say it. It's supposed to be like a plum mauve shade. This is full size. This retails for $20. If you watched my Thrive Cosmetics review video, you already know how I feel about these liners. I really like them. I think they work really well. I'm very very excited for the color. I think it's really pretty. I love plum mauve colors and this one appears to look really nice. I am pretty excited for that and it has a nice sharp tip. It's got a sharpener on the other side. Love these liners. As soon as I saw that this was an option, I automatically knew I was going to pick it. That gives our entire glam bag retail value $46.44. Now the reason I added up this month is because Ipsy recently said that apparently we're supposed to get a $50 value in our glam bag and mine is $46.44. They're a little bit short. I really don't care because I honestly never knew that was a thing. I just saw I pointed out that they did not hit the $50 mark that they claim and I don't think they hit the $50 mark most months. All right, now we're going to get into the plus. Now before I get into the plus, if you guys haven't seen, the plus is now going to do ultra customization, meaning that you will now be able to pick three of your items instead of just one. The one issue I have with this is that you're going to customize August 1st through the 3rd, which means you get 
don't get to customize until after your build. That makes me a little anxious, but I have decided I'm gonna give them a few months and see how it goes because I know it's gonna take them a few months to work out the kinks and I am a little concerned about shipping since we're not picking our items till later. I'm assuming we're gonna get our items later for that reason, but we will see. We also get, get to shop add-ons sooner, so that's a really nice perk. All right, so let's get into the plus box. First, I'm gonna talk about the bag for this month. So this is the bag. It's around the same size this one is. Yeah, they're literally the same size. Okay. It's in the same cheap plasticky material. It's got the same 80s type theme. I kind of like the 80s theme. I think it's interesting. I think I like this bag a little bit more than I like this one, just like my personal preference. This one says Wanderlust on it. I'm probably gonna give it most of these bags away. Also got the cute little airplane zipper right there. Okay, so first up is the Itsy palette. This is a build your own magnetic palette. I don't know what shade this is in, but it's like in the smokier one. There was like a smoky version and a neutral version. I got the smoky version. I actually already own this. So hold on, let me get mine. So as you can see, I already own this. I bought this off Poshmark for like $6. I'm actually going to set this aside because I'm either going to sell this one on Poshmark or I'm going to save it as a gift for someone. There is like a thing that comes with it that holds the four shadows in place. I've actually taken that out and I already have another shadow in there. These are the four Itsy shadows. Here are the four shades swatched. I don't even know if you can see that pale shade, but it's there. That's probably something I'd use as like a base for my eye look. And then there's like a pink shimmery shade, a matte purple shade, and a shimmery darker like brown shade, I'd say, almost black grayish shade. Honestly, they're decent quality shadows to me. I don't think they're bad. Some people really don't like them, but I don't think they're that bad. They're not my favorite and I don't grab for this eyeshadow palette all the time. It makes sense that they would have sent me this. I mean, I did purchase it anyways with my own money. Next up, we have another item I already own. This is the Yensa Super 8 Lip Oil. And I have this, I know this only comes in one color, so I know this is the same one. I'm gonna leave it in the packaging because honestly, as I've said probably a million times by now, I freaking love this lip oil and I have it on right now. I have used so much of it already in just a month. So I'm probably gonna go through this relatively quickly. I'm actually pretty stoked to have a backup because this is a $28 value. So pretty happy about that. Oh, I forgot to mention, the palette apparently has a $60 value. Like I said, I paid I think like five or six bucks for it, but it, it apparently has a $60 value. Okay, next up we have from Real Her the I Am Amazing 24 Hour Eyeliner. I'm pretty sure this is in the shade black because I looked it up. This has a retail value of $16. So what really annoys me is the fact that Ipsy sent me two different black eyeliners this month, like one of my plus, one of my regular. Now this is a gel liner, which is fine because I use gel liners way more than I use regular liquid liners. Here it is right there. It's not the blackest black I've ever seen, but I mean, it looks fine. I wear gel liners almost every day when I'm doing like an everyday easy look. I typically throw on just like a couple shadows and I'll throw this in the waterline. So I'm fine getting that. When I have time to actually do my makeup like I did today, I typically will use just eyeshadow under the eyes. But when I don't have time for that, I like to grab a black liner. I'm not mad about that. I'm just annoyed that Ipsy gave me two black eyeliners. I know one is gel and one is liquid, but still. And that is $16. Next up, I have the Tarte Surfer Curl Mascara. I'm actually very excited to try this. I saw this and I was hoping I'd get it. And this has a retail value of $23. Really, really excited to try this mascara out. I'm definitely gonna let you guys know. Maybe I'll do a try on video and this will be one of the items I try on. So here's the wand. This reminds me so much of the Winky Lux Mascara wand. I don't have it with me right now, but if I showed you, it's very similar. This is just a little bit longer of bristles. I do like the Winky Lux mascara. I'm wearing it today. So I am very excited to try this one out. Finally, we have my choice item, which I am like one of the only people I know that got this. I haven't seen anyone else on YouTube unbox it. I got the Sunday Riley Luna Oil. Here is the Luna Oil. This has a retail value of $105. I got this like as soon as selection went up and I managed to pick this up. So I'm very, very excited to get this and try it out. I like trying out different Sunday Riley products, even though I love my Korean products. I like trying expensive American skincare products. So I'm so excited to give this a go. Like I said, this is $105. I'm excited. My total value 
for the month of July is $232. That is way above it. And even if I take out the $60 ITZY palette, I still have 172 value, which is way above what they promised. They promised 120. That is my plus and everything. If you are leaving at this point because you don't want to hear my somewhat of a rant on Ipsy and see my add-ons, I completely understand. Please make sure you like this video before you leave it if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you like beauty related content. However, if you are here to hear my partial rant and see my add-ons, oh, get ready. Here are the add-ons that I received. We have five add-ons. First and foremost, I ordered the Mana Kadar blush. I got an email from Ipsy that it wasn't coming, that they had oversold product and I wasn't going to receive it. So they refunded me and gave me 600 points. I was very disappointed because I would get on Ipsy at 9 a.m. to get my add-ons. But you know, whatever, things happen. They did refund me, they did give me points. I'll live with it. Then I redeemed points for the Complex Culture All Over Shadow Brush. I'll let you guys know what happened because I just emailed them not that long ago and asked about it. They didn't send it to me. Now I do know that sometimes it is supposed to come in the month after. However, I ordered it, I believe on the first of the month. So it should have come in, in this month's box. Last month I got the Estate Highlighter. I ordered it on like the 10th of the month and I still got it. So I did email them and ask them if it's gonna come in my August box. We'll see what they say about about that. And finally, they sent me the wrong shade of lip gloss. I added this on for $3. I add on the sheer rose shade. This is Honey Sheen. So I emailed them about that too. The lady said that she was going to get back to me and that she had forwarded it to her team. I will give you guys updates on what happens. I'll either put it in the description box or if it can somehow fit on the screen, I'd put it there. I've had a lot of issues with Ipsy in the past few months, but this is the gloss I received. So we're going to swatch it. At first, I really wasn't going to bother them, but I'm just so bitter with them right now that uh, I'm just over it. If they were not making those adjustments that they are to the plus, I definitely would have canceled at least one of my subscriptions for next month. But because they are making that adjustment, I am hopeful that it'll get a little bit better. And as you guys could see, my regular bag this month wasn't good in my opinion. I didn't like it. Plus I thought it was decent because honestly, every item in there I would use even though I have some of them. Here's the swatch of the gloss. Like I said, it's honey sheen, but my plus has consistently been pretty good. My freaking regular bag has been bad. So I'm just really starting to get over them. I might, I'm gonna have to cancel if it doesn't get better. I'm just, I'm so annoyed with them at this point. All right, I got the Kismet primer and this is the vitamin C primer. Here's the Kismet vitamin C primer. I saw someone review this and it looked so good. So I really wanted to try it. It's got like a little bit of shimmer in it, which is interesting, but I'm excited to actually give this a go because vitamin C is really good for your skin. I find this thing fascinating. So then I got two Pure Lease BB creams. I got one in shade Fair and one in shade Light because I have no idea what shade I would be in either of these. We're gonna test these out, see how they go. Finally, I have the Buxom Mascara. I'm not gonna open this since I just opened the Tarte one, but I am really excited to try this. I've heard really good things about this mascara. So pretty excited about all my add-ons I got this month. And I do like, like I said, my Plus box. I think it was really good. My regular bag has consistently been bad for months now, and I just think it might be time to cancel it. We'll see if this ultra customization improves my bag at all. But like I said, if by October I see no improvement, I'm gonna cancel that. That is all for today. So let me know down in the comments below if you get Ipsy, what you think of them, if you have been having the same issues. Let me know if you get the plus and what you think of these new improvements to the plus that they're making. I actually think they're gonna be really good. Like I said, I think the first like two or three months they might have some issues with shipping and stuff, but I think in general, it's a really good idea and I'm interested to see if they expand it to the ultimate as well. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below. I'm so sorry if this video is longer than normal or if I ranted too much. Don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're into beauty related content. That is all for today guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good one.